Okay, now I'm up in the bed of the truck and I got my uh, drop box that I'm assuming I need to clean out because of how much char I had in the rear tank. Um, so I'm assuming it had sucked some of it over and dropped in. So I'm gonna pull that cap for the first time and make a giant mess in the bed of my truck. It's already a giant mess, so who cares? <laughs> I already loosened it up before I started the video. That way I'm not sitting here fumbling with a pair of channel locks. I should have left more room under this thing so I could stick a bucket under it. Okay, so I got some char in there. Back down the cap. Which I kind of expected, it's the lowest point. How much is packed? Oh, yeah. I can tell it's packed. Now, am I gonna be able to get this bucket under it? And still be able to clean it. Now to do a little modification here. Get my pocket knife out of my pocket. Just trying not to make a, a huge mess. But know how I am and I make messes so <laughs> kind of a is what it is deal so I'll slide that bucket in there start digging down I mean you guys probably can't see it all too well <laughs> but uh, I assure you it's full of crap tie wire here and we'll shove up in there. not as packed as I thought it would be. I mean, there's quite a bit, but I haven't gone through and uh, washed down that drop box yet. But there's quite a bit of char in there. So I shut the camera off and keep digging at it and see how much more I can get out of there. Is it done yet? How much is in there? <laughs> okay, so 20 minutes later, um, I definitely need to do clean outs more often. 1300 miles is too far. Uh, it could be from the uh, softwood that I burn, but that is the fourth pile I have pulled out from underneath there. And that was after about, I don't know, five of these buckets where I was like, oh hell, I'll just make a mess and deal with it later. So I believe if I'm looking at my crossover pipe, I was poking charcoal and it was breaking out from where it was packed all the way up here. So there was eight solid inches of charcoal packed in the bottom of the drop box. Uh, yeah. So I got that pile of cleanup still. And this is everything out of, uh, the drop box filter and the uh, main clean out on the bottom the ammo can. That's about, uh, by the time I get that pile in there, that's about two thirds of a 50 pound feed bag full of biochar. It'll make up a lot of rocket fuel and I can sift everything extra out and the wife can have it for the garden. So yeah, right on. Get it fired back up and headed home here in a little bit. Never gonna complain about having to clean this out compared to emptying my wallet every time I go to the freaking gas station. Talk to you later, guys.